Hello, everyone. My name is Nick Pierce. Once again, checking in with the Lady Flames volleyball team. Preseason practice in full swing as the Lady Flames get ready for the 2014 campaign. And we're visiting now with senior libero, Gabby Scheib. Kind enough to take a few moments for us. Gabby, thanks a lot. Uh, first of all, senior season. Uh, how excited are you? How's uh, uh, preseason practice gone for you so far? Extra excited, but um, preseason practice has actually gone really great. Um, we've seen lots of tremendous like plays, everything, so that's pretty good. Your last year at Liberty, uh, can you believe that? No, I cannot. It's flown by. Do you remember the first day that you stepped foot on campus and that first year that you were here and kind of what that was like and now to be in this moment now? I do not remember the first time I stepped on campus, but I remember the first time I stepped on the court. It was nerve-wracking, and I mean, you see the coach's intensity, and you just kind of get that fear a little bit. <laughs> so. A good fear, you know. Yes, good fear. Well, it's obviously been a great career for you. You've played in every single set but one, I believe, your entire career so far to this point. Uh, first of all, how do you stay healthy that whole span? How do you uh, keep yourself going out there night after night? Trainers keep me healthy, honestly. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just, yeah, trainers keep me healthy and um, staying on top of things. I feel very blessed to be that durable. And uh, also, you've moved into 15th now, all time in digs. You got your 1,000th career dig last year at Presbyterian. What do you remember about that night? It was exciting, really. Um, I remember coach telling me um, after the match, obviously, because he didn't want to get me psyched up before. But he, um, they all congratulated me, so it was really exciting. It was a tough first half of the season for you guys last year. Caroline gets back, you guys start to figure some things out, and you finished really strong. Got to the Big South semifinals. Obviously, you wanted to get a little bit further than that. But uh, as you take the, the ups and downs of last year and you look ahead to this season, how much has this team grown since last year? Really a lot. We have a lot more connections and great relationships on the team, so I think it's going to be a great season. What match are you most looking forward to this year? The Radford match. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. I think uh, Caroline said that you guys had a, a counter on that one, the countdown to the Radford match. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's counting down in the locker room. So. Good stuff. Well, uh, I know that you come from an athletic family. Uh, your father, your grandfather, and your uncle – all played college football. Uh, just tell us about that, and you know what the uh, what what uh, you know growing up in a, in a family like that was like, and you know uh, being around all those folks with college experience. Oh yes, it was very competitive family. So <laughs> um, we used to go out and play football, like out in the backyard. So it, yeah, it was it was pretty competitive. I imagine that Thanksgivings were probably centered on football, right? Yeah, well, sometimes. <laughs> yes. Everything like a sprint to the bus stop, you know, every, everyone was competing at everything? Yes, very much. <laughs> Siblings and all. Well, Gabby, uh, last thing for you, what, what goals and expectations do you have for yourself this season uh, as you look ahead? Goals, um, I think being out there and putting it, giving it all and um, expectations – I want to win Big South. I want to win the first round. So, You played in two NCAA tournament matches so far in your time here. What would a third mean to you? Everything. <laughs> Seriously. Um, I mean, not just that. I mean, I want to go to the first round, and we want to win the first round. We want to do bigger than just the Big South. Right. So make Liberty a name. You're not content just getting there. You want to go a little further. Yes. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, I think you speak for the rest of the team when you say that. Gabby, thanks a lot for the time. Wish you the best of luck here coming up. Thank you. Checking in now with the head coach of the Lady Flames volleyball team, Shane Pender, as the Lady Flames get ready for the start of the 2014 season. Coach, you're a few days into practice now. Uh, what have you really been able to work on with the girls so far? Well, you know, you try to establish the culture and, and how we want to approach each day and, and really staying in the process early, right? And, and trying to get them to understand that throughout the year that there's moments to be result driven and uh, there's a lot of moments to be process driven and just trying to keep that mindset and, and moving in the right direction. Uh, but um, this group has brought in a, a great focus. Uh, they're competing really hard. Uh, their resolve at this point is is really good, and and they're just they're, they're pushing each other each day. So some of the stuff at times you may have to police. This group is taking care of it, so it's allowing us to just uh, coach and just keep working on the moments. Yeah, 
you did lose some seniors last year, like uh, Lily Happel or Jay Craycraft, or I guess it's Jay, Jay Sanders now, to be, uh, to be exact. But uh, you still have some leaders back. And Caroline, we talked to before. We just talked to Gabby Scheip a little bit. Uh, tell us how important their roles are. Experience, you know, they've been out there. They've been in the big moments. Melissa Race as well is in that group, and they've all won, you know, championships and, and know what it takes to sustain a year, not just uh, this week for the youngsters. They're just trying to get through this week, you know, preseason, and can I make it and can my legs go the next day? And, and, and they, get, they get the whole picture. And so it's great to have that uh, in the gym every day and knowing that uh, uh, they know what it takes. So uh, they've done a great job leading and really uh, just as good a job as uh, connecting. Because when you get new people in the culture and uh, being able to connect them, the young and the old, and uh, is really important from a relational standpoint. So they've done a great job there too. And you just see their poise in situations, which is what we're going to need early. Forgot to, Lily got married as well. It's Lily Vaughn now, not Lily Apple. I got to make sure I get all these last names right. It's it's tough to keep up with. That's right, a lot of marriages. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but uh, yeah. Well, uh, I want to talk specifically about Gabby a little bit, elaborate on her since we just talked to her. She's played in every set except one for you in her career. Uh, Libero out there with a lot of experience, a lot of miles, but uh, she's she's been very valuable for your team. In what ways has she grown up over the last three years? There's a natural, you know, maturing process in the game, the speed of the game. Um, again, situations, knowing what to do. Sometimes with younger players, you know, they panic over everything and, and just kind of realizing when to, when to panic, if that's a good word, or, or, or knowing when we're okay and settling us down. So uh, she has a lot of, of points under under her belt. And, um, you know, she, she's going to anchor our servicey patterns, which is big in our sport. And then defensively, she she has great range of motion and the ability to read and, and see things. So uh, she's going to, from a defensive standpoint, be a part of a lot of big moments in terms of us uh, uh, making plays. And, and a lot of times in our sport, it can be uh, – there's the buzzer. But uh, a, lot, a lot of times in our sport, it can be one dig or one block that springs three or four points. So uh, she has a great opportunity to impact what we do this year. She already is, and uh, we're really excited about uh, what she'll do this senior year. Last couple of things before we let you get going. We talk about a lot of newcomers on this team. Who are a couple of – maybe one or two that have, that have stuck out to you early on here so far? Yeah, well, we mentioned last time we talked uh, Jay Voister transferring in from Hawaii, and uh, she brings size, experience, um, and uh, she's going to be able to terminate the ball for us. And, and so she's one that kind of stands out right away. But uh, Hannah Widener is a right side attacker that uh, is a true freshman. But to to uh, looking at the numbers, even this morning, uh, she's one of our most terminal kids in the gym right now, and uh, she's hitting at a high percentage in our scrimmages. So she's already making good decisions uh, as a young attacker, which sometimes that's the problem. And they can be real physical, but usually they're high error. And, and she's been really good in that department early on. Uh, so we're excited about what she'll bring. Uh, we have Anna Willie, who's a setter, uh, who, um, you know, is, is, is long. Uh, she's, uh, she's got good hands, good instincts. And uh, she's just, just a freshman, though. She's got to learn uh, moments and situations and, and making decisions. But uh, um, we got a lot of talent in the gym. And it's just kind of putting it together and getting them used to playing with each other. But Really excited about the season. Lastly, over the next week or so, what do you want to see happen with this group as they come together? Yeah, once we get into the regular routine, starting Monday of classes and then a regular practice schedule, just really kind of settling in to each day and, and again, controlling the controllables. And uh, I think if we can come with the mindset every day to just get a little bit better than the day before uh, in all facets, mentally, physically, emotionally, you know, hitting on all of them each day and each person doing their part and being consistent to what they bring to the gym every day in terms of how we train, how we approach uh, each situation. Uh, we hope when it's all said and done, we got a pretty good product. Coach Pender, appreciate the time. Look forward to catching up with you again here real soon. Uh, thank you. That's Lady Flames volleyball coach Shane Pender. Stay tuned to LibertyFlames.com. We'll have more updates on the Lady Flames as they get set for the start of the 2014 season. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.